we are honored to welcome four Gold Edwardians. The late Nancy Marusak and the late Alex Marusak, class of 1963, Mrs. Min Hen Wan, and Mr. Steve Shadowin, class of 1980, Mrs. Sharon and Mr. Michael Daggett, and Mrs. Betsy Abel, Master of Arts and Counseling graduate from the class of 2005, and Mr. Hughes Abel. Alex Marusak's physics class with Dr. Romard Barthel helped decide his career path. After graduating from St. Ed's, he went to the University of Dallas and the University of Tennessee to earn his PhD in nuclear physics. The Los Alamos National Laboratory hired him to develop computer code, which he did expertly until taking a short break to earn his law degree from Duke University. When he returned to Los Alamos, he met the love of his life, Nancy. During wartime, his skills in both hardware and software development advanced the nation's security science. And during peacetime, he traveled to Paris, Japan, and India to share his expertise. Alex and Nancy retired in Ennis, Texas, Alex's birthplace. After battling pancreatic cancer, Alex passed away in February 2007, but not before creating a gift plan to support scholarships in the name of his mentor and friend, Brother Romar. When Nancy was also called home in 2013, a large portion of the Marusak's estate came to St. Edward's University to assist science students. Steve Shadowin graduated summa cum laude from St. Edward's in 1980. He also played tennis under the mentorship of Brother Emmett Strohmeyer. He was a member of the Student Government Association, and, through his classes, he developed a strong sense of personal responsibility for helping to improve the world. Beyond the hilltop, his achievements are extraordinary. Together with classmate Bob Hilliard, he founded a law firm specializing in economic justice and civil rights cases. Steve has been legal counsel in numerous groundbreaking cases. In 2013, the American Antitrust Institute awarded him its first ever national accolade for outstanding antitrust litigation achievement in private law practice. He consistently earns recognition as a best lawyer in America. Steve is also dedicated to improving access to education through both law and his philanthropy. He established the Professor William Zanardi Camp Endowed Scholarship at St. Ed's in honor of Dr. Zanardi's influence on his philosophy education. He serves as a member of the Board of Trustees and has given generously to support students through gifts to scholarships, our most critical operating priorities, and capital priorities. Sharon Daggett has a tremendous desire to support higher education and gives generously of her time, talent, and treasure to support young people's access to life-changing educational opportunities. Growing up, Sharon says that her father, Grogan Lord, was a major inspiration. His work ethic and genuine care for the community has been carried forward passionately and effectively by Sharon and her brother, Griff. Professionally, Sharon serves as director of First Texas Bancorp. He also serves as vice president, secretary, and treasurer of the Grogan Lord Foundation, which has established the R. Griffin Lord Family Endowed Scholarship to ensure that promising students are not hindered by financial circumstances. While visiting the Hilltop in 2011, Sharon suggested that her family's foundation also provide funding for the John Brooks Williams South Building. Sharon has always expressed great interest in St. Edward's since she's gotten to know us and is especially connected to the Holy Cross mission. She is a member of the university's board of trustees, and in addition to providing wisdom and guidance about the university's direction, both she and her husband, Michael, continue to provide generous support for student scholarships, operating, and capital priorities. Betsy and Hughes Abel have provided extraordinary support to the College Assistant Migrant Program at St. Edwards University through their family foundations. Betsy earned her master's degree in counseling from St. Edwards in 2008, and since then, their involvement in providing wisdom and support to St. Edwards has given students tremendous opportunities to gain an education that can transform their lives. Together, their influence throughout Texas is undeniable. Hughes has served on the board of the Lower Colorado River Authority, the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, the Texas Livestock Marketing Association, National Finance Credit Corporation, and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. He has had numerous other business engagements positively impacting the ranching, farming, and cattle feeding communities in Texas, New Mexico, and Florida. His expertise in business also finds him actively managing private investments in oil, gas, timber, and commercial real estate. Despite the Abel's generous commitments of time to a diverse group of organizations, their support of St. Edward's University and students from migrant and farm working backgrounds is remarkable.